Hi guys, in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of this um, FPV camera system. This is the all-in-one uh, FPV camera. This is provided to me by AKK Technology for a review. So let's quickly open this up. So you have this uh, additional connector from this uh, micro JST to micro lossy and this is connected to the uh, female plug to the transmitter so that's the camera so the camera is separated from the uh, VTX so this system is called AKKA5 uh, it has a uh, 25 milliwatts uh, transmission power and looking at this I think it's for micro quadcopter and um, the antenna is quite short probably around 3 cm long and if you can see here this is where the antenna is soldered to the board so I can see a potential weak point here so maybe uh, you can hot glue these parts to make sure that it's secure and I think the button here is for changing the uh, band and frequency and it's based on the LED system so this is just a standard camera I think this one has 600 TVL and it's one quarter CMOS sensor so this will do for uh, micro quad so if anyone let just quickly have a close-up look of the camera so this is like a standard all-in-one camera That's the connector, and uh, it comes with a uh, leaflet uh, for a little bit of description and instructions. So, this just shows you what the components are and what the LED lights are for, and um, this gives you the operation instructions. So, input power is between 3 and 3 volts to 5. Point zero volts so you can use a uh, standard one cell battery 600 TVL range is 150 meters uh, usually you can't go that far anyway so make sure that you fly close to you so it's NTSC it's quite I think you can uh, go low lights with one lux fuel view is 120 20 degree that's fine brass an antenna 40 channels <coughs> excuse me so this is how you switch the uh, band and frequency I don't usually bother with this because uh, I can always use my uh, goggles to search for the uh, band and frequency but for most of the uh, China made uh, camera they usually use uh, fake shark uh, band uh, I think frequency 7 so anyway that's the instruction leaflet so let's quickly hook this up and uh, test it I'm going to use my uh, G10 uh, FPV monitor so quickly connect the wire So make sure that you check the polarity so black is black connected to the black and make sure that before you plug your battery in make sure that the black goes connect to the black so the black is here the, the battery black is this side 
Yeah, so it's right polarity. So now let's just turn on the uh, G10 FPV monitor watch. So I've already got this on a uh, flat shot uh, band, frequency 7. So let's just quickly connect this. As you can see, so it connects uh, instantly. So I'm just taking out the cap. See, so the, the bottom of the camera is where the wire connects. So you can see now that it's connected. Uh, let me just point to the back of me. So you can see the monitor. The um, picture quality seems quite good. I don't have a lot of lights in the room. So yeah, it's the F4B is quite alright with 120 degrees. So this is how it looks like when it's uh, connected with a battery. So as standard, this will usually lights up and you can see the lights here. The blue and the red. I think the blue is for the band. Red is for the channel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, I don't know how this works, but uh, I know that it's on the uh, fake shot F and seven. If you look at the G10 FPV monitor watch, um, it doesn't feel that hot, but slowly heating up. The camera itself doesn't feel that hot too. But anyway, I better disconnect this to prevent it from heating up too much. So uh, this one seems to be of a uh, good quality build. Um, AKK so far hasn't disappointed me in terms of the uh, quality of their products. I previously was given an AKK all-in-one Crobber Leaf camera that I installed on my uh, E011 and it worked really well. Uh, I'm not sure whether I installed it on E011 or Fury BF. 36. So anyway, that's the camera. And um, what I'm going to do with this um, system is that I'm going to install this on my uh, E011 here. So I need to figure out how to fit everything in there um, because you don't really have a lot of space in the E011. So I'll figure that out, out and then I'll do a video on that when I'm installing this um, camera system on E011. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So see you next time.